Thank you all for joining us this morning. And let me be the first to please welcome you to Little Rock. Um, if this is your first travel since we've went through the past 18 months out of state, please please raise your hand. I'd love to see if, if we've got some first time travelers. So we're so glad that y'all could join us and be that first travel here to Little Rock. Um, I wanna first thank uh, again, Learning Blade, Sheila and Dane Boyington for sponsoring our reception last night at the Mosaic Templars. Those of you who are, were there last night, give them a round of applause for such a great event. Um, I really enjoy that venue, and I shared with all y'all, uh, you all, an email uh, late last night that had a video about the Ninth Street uh, history here in Little Rock. So if you get an opportunity, go and watch that. That's a, a very interesting part of Arkansas's culture and history that a lot of people are not aware of. So, but thank y'all again. Um, I obviously want to thank Governor Hutchinson for hosting us uh, here in the beautiful mansion today um, and hosting this event. Um, there, you know, there's there's no secret that Governor Hutchinson is the leading governor when it comes to CS education, and it's because of his vision and the what he has placed behind this initiative is the reason we're as successful as we are and get the recognition that we are. Um, early in my tenure, um, whenever we we were really getting moving, uh, I was asked once at a code.org conference, uh, what can we do in our state to get to where Arkansas is? And I said, well, get you a Governor Hutchinson. Um, and and a couple of people kind of laughed at me, but then um, I, will, I won't call, well, actually I will tell the state because we have a couple representatives from there. Uh, a representative from Texas just a few days ago told me, when y'all get done with Governor Hart Hutchinson in Arkansas, can y'all just send him to Texas for us? So Governor Hutchinson, I'll let you answer that, that question. So um, I also wanna thank my, um, my bosses, uh, my additional bosses, Secretary Key for joining us and Dr. Ivy Pfeffer, uh, Deputy Commissioner. So thank y'all for joining us. And I wanna thank the mansion staff. Uh, they do such a great job and the decorations are absolutely beautiful. So I want to thank them for all the work that they put into this event. They, uh, Ms. Thompson was telling me, but they had 13 events in 11 days. Was that correct, roughly? So uh, they are staying very busy at this time of year, and we appreciate them working us in. Um, for those of y'all who are not aware, we are so honored to host this in Little Rock. Uh, if you're not aware of this event, this is a national CS Ed Week kickoff. Uh, the, as the farthest back I could find one being hosted was 2014. It was actually hosted in the White House by President Obama. The following year, it was hosted at the New York Stock Exchange. The following year, it was hosted by Prime Minister Trudeau in Ottawa, Canada. Then it was hosted in 2017 in Silicon Valley, California, Seattle, Washington in 2018, and Santa Fe, New Mexico in 2019. And then, of course, because of the pan pandemic, we were online last year for the hosting. So I consider that to be a great list for Little Rock, Arkansas to be among. So thank you all for being here with us. So we'll see if uh, technology is going to work this morning or not. You know, it is a computer science conference, so we're going to have problems with technology, I'm sure. Okay, so we have 22 states and Washington, D.C. represented today. So if you traveled with us, you're part of that contingent. I think that's a great contingent, and I appreciate you all being here. Uh, another map that I'd like to share is this one. This one is actually uh, part of the Brookings Report that recently came out. It's Building Skills for Life, How to Change and Improve Computer Science Education Around the World. I have the link there to it if you want that, um, or you can just Google it. The reason that I wanted to bring this up before we got started is today is not about the why for CS. I think everyone in this room knows why we need computer science in our schools, computer science and computing, and that's that's been talked about ad nauseum, right? But today is more about the how and the what we're gonna do moving forward, how we can make change. So I share this to show that just, you know, Arkansas is so blessed in that we are being recognized for the work that Governor Hutchinson has put in place um, amongst other countries. So uh, we appreciate that. The other thing that I wanted to bring your attention to, and we got into the 20th century with the QR code finally for this, uh, but this is the code.org advocacy site that was recently launched. You have the new uh, 2021 Computer Science Education Accelerating Through Advocacy Report. 
Sorry, I did not print that 100 plus page report for each of y'all. Um, uh, talk to Katie Hendrickson if you want a copy. She might be able to get you one. I don't know. She's going she's gonna to give me an eyebrow for that later. Um, you all should have received when you came in a state report that was uh, aligned to the state of your residence. Hopefully I got those right. If I did not, I apologize, but scan the QR code and you can get any of the 50 states that you want. And then I, being a data person, the thing that I am most excited about this, this uh, site is the data portion of this site. You can go in and you can look at state by state, nation by nation, and even down to school level. To, to receive um, information on what is being done in computer science across the nation. So um, I appreciate code.org for that information. So with that, I'm not gonna belabor the fact anymore because there's a lot of other people that are much more eloquent in their speaking abilities than me. And I know you wanna hear from them more so than me. So we're gonna play a video and then I'm gonna invite Governor Hutchinson up to uh, uh, take over. continues to advance, so should our children's education. That's why in 2015 the Arkansas Computer Science Initiative was created, an initiative to provide better access to a variety of computer science related resources and ultimately to use their skills and creativity to make a difference in the world. And it's all happening right here in Arkansas. Because of this initiative, more and more schools have added coding, cybersecurity, networking, robotics, and game design into their curriculum. And more and more students are getting the real-world experience and training they need to succeed. The Arkansas Computer Science Initiative prepared me for my eventual career path by giving me the opportunity to meet with other people that are currently in the industry. Because I had my first internship through this initiative, I am now almost at two years of interning with J.B. Hunt while still going through college and it's because I had a little bit of experience and knowledge of technology and the passion is the reason why I am where I am today. Since the initiative's launch, Arkansas has become a national leader in computer science and computing education, with many states following our lead. Inside the state of Arkansas, you all have done something fascinating, which is to mandate computer science in your classrooms. Mm -hmm. And you've seen incredible numbers of students go up in coding, uh, especially with women, especially with minorities. Why did you all think that was so important? Whenever you look nationally, only one out of 10 high schools in America offer and teach computer coding. We mandated it every high school that we could produce 6,000 students a year into our economy that know how to write software. The study of computer science and related computing areas opens more economic opportunity for more people than almost any other area of study. And this skill set is in demand, not only in the tech sector, but in banking, entertainment, medicine, and virtually every area. So whether your child wants to be a farmer, doctor, teacher, or entrepreneur, they will greatly benefit from the creativity and problem-solving skills that are the essence of creating computer software. And no matter the state of our economy, computer science-related jobs will remain and continue to thrive. The computer science skills that I gained in Arkansas really allowed me to work around the world. Even now, as a college recruiter for my company, only a few candidates have high school computer science experience. I would encourage anyone who is interested in this field to really start early and seize every opportunity to grow their knowledge in computer science. From its pathways to higher education, internships and careers, to its passionate and knowledgeable educators and industry-approved curriculum, the Arkansas Computer Science Initiative continues to transform students' lives, both in and outside school walls. And it's never been easier to join in the fun. Join the future and enroll your child in these fun and innovative courses and support the Arkansas Computer Science Initiative today.